Understanding the Day of Atonement. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its phrases. Today, we're exploring a very special phrase, the Day of Atonement. It's a phrase loaded with historical, religious, and cultural significance. Our goal is to unfold its meanings and usage in a way that's easy to grasp for English language learners. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. The Day of Atonement is not just any phrase, it's a term deeply rooted in Jewish tradition. It refers to Yom Kippur, the holiest day in Judaism. This day is dedicated to atonement and repentance. But what does that really mean? Atonement is about making amends for wrongdoings or sins, while repentance involves sincere remorse and a commitment to change one's ways. On Yom Kippur, individuals seek forgiveness from God and others they may have wronged during the past year. On the Day of Atonement, various practices are observed to honor the sanctity of the day. These include fasting, prayer, and reflection. Fasting is particularly significant as it represents purification and the desire to cleanse oneself of sins. The day is marked by intensive prayers and services in the synagogue, where individuals reflect on their actions and seek to improve themselves spiritually. While the Day of Atonement is specific to Judaism, the concepts of atonement and repentance are universal. Many cultures and religions have similar days or practices focused on self-examination, forgiveness, and moral improvement. The idea here is not just about observing a ritual but about the ongoing human journey towards becoming better individuals and fostering positive relationships with others and the divine. Understanding the Day of Atonement opens up a window into not just Jewish tradition but also the universal themes of forgiveness, renewal, and the power of reflection. It's a reminder that, regardless of our backgrounds, taking the time to reflect on our actions and seeking to make amends is a powerful step towards growth and harmony. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this exploration enriches your understanding of the English language and the diverse cultures that enrich it. See you in our next video.